All right, so I decided uh, to do another video on my MRP oil pan installation. I know in my last video, I kind of cut it where I'm, I just installed the oil pan and that's it. Kind of did it verbally, but I didn't actually show you the process of how to do it. So this is kind of how I did it for the MRP uh, oil pan install for the 4AG here. Um, so I already finished it up and everything here. Uh, what I did is uh, for the 4AG 16 valve, uh, what I did here is I test fit this on here first. I put this sump on here dry or with no sealing it or anything and I put four bolts. So one, two, three, four on that side there and to kind of mount it in and mock it in place. And according to the MRP instructions, they want you to rotate the crank just to make sure the windage tray inside here doesn't hit or anything. Thankfully, on my 16 valve 4AG, uh, it rotated nicely. I didn't have to do any mods to the windage uh, tray. But if you feel bending or anything that's get, uh, getting binded on, you want to adjust the flaps on the windage tray so where it doesn't hit the crank or anything like that. So after you test fit it and uh, mock it up, then you prep the block and the pan to for sealant. So I basically just used. Um, Brake cleaner cleaned out, you know, the surface area where the sealant's going to be at. I also uh, thread chased these bolts here. So these holes, uh, I basically thread chased them with my um, thread chaser, which is this guy here, uh, Harbor Freight Special. It's like an M6 by one. That's the thread pitch. So I just basically uh, thread uh, chased all of these holes and then mix it a lot easier to put these bolts in by hand. So once I did the prep work, so I cleaned the block or cleaned the matting surface there basically and thread chased the holes, I um, put sealant and the sealant I used is uh, this OEM Toyota type of deal. This is what they recommend for Toyota or at least on Flo's website, this is what they use. So. I'm using that versus Honda Bond. And I do have Honda Bond, but I left it at the warehouse. But luckily I have that. And I just applied a nice little bead on the block. I didn't put it on the uh, pan because I figured once I handle it with my hands and stuff, it's probably gonna get on my hand and all that good mess. So just being the safe side, I just put the bead on the block. It's a lot easier. And basically the way I did the beading is I put like a bead in the middle and then go behind it, then a bead in the middle, then go behind it. So that's how I basically did it here. And uh, hopefully, you know, that will, you know, um, hopefully will prevent leakage here. So that's pretty much it there. And then I hand tie in the bolts and then I did it outside to inside. So I did one, two, then three, four, and then just kind of go in a crisscross pattern until I got to the middle here and um i did it all by hand and on the book the manual is set to 42 uh, foot pound but i think that's a bit too much i didn't want to do that and risk snapping a bolt or something or stripping something so i just turned it up all by hand and i'm hoping i think that'll be good enough we'll see once i put the motor in and you know, if it starts leaking oil then you know i have to redo this whole deal but i'm hoping not and then um and you do have these studs that came in stock. Um, I did realize that, oh shoot, it did come with extra bolts here for this two, obviously here. Um, you guys are supposed to remove the stud, but on the MRP directions, it didn't say that. So I assumed when I put it in, you, you reused the, the nuts here, but technically you're supposed to remove the stud and then put that bolt in here on both sides. And then on, uh, here, there's like a little bung here. You're supposed to, like right there where my finger is at, there's a little hole there where you're supposed to plug in for the 16 valve 4 AG. So I did that right there. I'm guessing on the 20 valve, the oil pan goes there for that bolt there. So it's a bit different. But um, I plugged that up with some sealant and you know plugged it up with the supply bolt that they had there for the plug. And then this is you know the plug actually for uh, the 20 valve. I guess underneath here you're supposed to do some mods for the 20 valve to get the pan to fit and then you plug it up with this you know the supplied bung that they give you here and you put sealant on the sides which I haven't done yet but I'll do and I did mark my bolts here just so that 
with a paint pen just to know that I did uh, type them up. So that's pretty much it there. Um, that's how I did the MRP oil pan install. It does come with a magnetic drain plug and then you do have a port here. I believe this is for the uh, drain uh, head. So you can, I have a, a drain on my head there, but the stock 16 valves, big ports, they don't have like a uh, extra drain for the head. But if you wanted to, you definitely can. And then you can add that drain onto here, onto this side. And on the other side, looking at the MRP uh, instruction, looks like this is the one for the uh, turbo oil uh, feed there. So you got two ports. One could be for turbo, for temperature. You got the other one also there for um, technically oil temperature or for a drain for the head there. So uh, either or, then you can just, if you don't want to, you can just plug it up like this here and use sealant, which I haven't done yet. But that's pretty much it there. I'm going to let it sit upside down overnight so the sealant will cure. And I'm hoping, you know, it won't leak uh, at all here. But uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it there. Um, yeah, so quick little uh, update there on the MRP baffle pan uh, install there. So the whole bottom end basically now at this point is sealed up. Now I'm going to work on next step would be an oil, no, the uh, water pump, the head, and that's pretty much it. Um, but all the bottom end basically is all done. So I got a short block now that's assembled. Now I'm going to continue on doing the rest of the motor in my other videos. All right, so uh, that's pretty much it there. Hopefully I'll see you all at the track or somewhere in Texas or wherever. Uh, but yeah, that's it. All right, I'll see y'all next time.